Hi, I'd like to talk to you today about a concept called uh, mouth compression. Uh, but before I do, uh, I had an interesting experience this morning. I finally got back into Bikram yoga. Now that's yoga that goes for an hour and a half in a room that's 40 degrees Celsius. So that's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, fantastic, makes you feel unbelievable. Uh, but I hadn't been for uh, 12 months actually to the day and uh, finally I'm excited to get back into it but it's interesting just to notice how the I, I did it for a couple of years and so the brain knows what to do and it's programmed to do something but then the body can't do it uh, and the similarities between that and maybe taking some time off the trumpet uh, are very apt so um, experiencing that uh, comeback and trying to get the body to do what the brain wants it to do is a interesting task that no doubt over the next weeks and months uh, will uh, hopefully uh, prove to be beneficial. Now, uh, mouth compression. Uh, often you probably have seen the uh, the windbag video where I'm talking about getting the air in and, and, uh, and why it's so important. Now, I've for years had real trouble understanding how to incorporate a big breath into playing because it can, if you really fill up as much as you can, it creates tension. Now that's not what it's about. Um, we want to get the, a comfortable amount of compression into the body uh, and then we want to release it. Now how do we make that conversion between that air in the body and the instrument? Because you feel like you've got so much air in, then what you do is instinctively try and blow all that air out and push it. Now as it, we've discussed quite a bit now, that's way too much energy for the instrument, okay? Way too much. So we need to understand that like the slingshot, we've got the energy in and merely release. So it's the release that I want to talk about with mouth compression. Now it might look a little weird, but you'll get the point, is that uh, I want you to experience, so next time you're in the shower, get a mouthful of water, and squirt the water as far as you can. Now I didn't want to bring the camera into the shower, so I've bought a glass of water to demonstrate what I mean. Okay, so that might be a little gross, I'm sorry about that. But what I'm getting at is below the, the neck or behind the mouth, there's nothing going on whatsoever. It's purely squeezing the air out of the, sorry, squeezing the water out from the mouth without any kind of push. I'm not sort of trying to go each time it's just a it's a little squirt of air now you imagine this for a minute you've got a you've taken a big deep breath energy's in the body then you're going to use the compression in the body behind the tongue to in a way do exactly the Sensation. same thing there you're not going to engage the air and try and push it you're merely going to release the compression from in the mouth okay this is the way to start and discover higher harmonics on the instrument. You're going to do it really, really softly. And the sound doesn't have to be great. It can be really scratchy, in fact. Remember, we're looking to find frequencies. Now, to find the frequencies at the start, they might sound terrible, but once you've got them, there's the no sound, good sound, oh, I'm sorry, no sound, terrible sound, good sound, the three steps to sound production. Firstly, no note will come out then you'll hear the frequency but it might sound awful but then as you start and get used to the shape of that frequency you'll be able to start and hold the corners the aperture corners firm and open the the aperture itself up to get more volume and resonance through now this is obviously a step-by-step -step process you don't uh you don't try and uh, get your range happening at super loud volume from the start because what are you going to do? You're going to tense everything up, you're going to push really hard, you're going to put your aperture under immense pressure. That's not going to work. I know you've tried it. I know that choking sensation. You know that you know that choking sensation. So what we need to do is practice the backswing and then practice the sensation. The joys of technology. I happen to glance down and Pro Tools had gone on holidays. Anyway, so where was I? We have the compression in the body, then we're discovering shape. You don't need to blow much at all. 
I hate that word. You don't need to release much air at all to set the instrument into vibration. You'll hear scratchy sounds, you'll hear all sorts of nasty sounds coming out. That's cool. Roger Ingram says, from squeaks come notes. He has a pretty strong upper register. Trust me, you know. Um, so uh, you want to have the compression in the body and then just using the tongue, just release the smallest amount of air and learn to just let the aperture go and experiment and you'll see results. The result might be no sound at all. Great, there's step one, all right? Then you might uh, have a weird squeak and a ridiculous high harmonic. That is the seed of a note, okay? Just become aware of it. Now, your tendency or your instinct will say, oh, wow, check that out. Now I'm gonna play it louder and push and we've gone back to square one, okay? So I want you to start and think, low C, middle C, high C, double high C. Okay, now the body stays in a reason. Now there's tension, so I can't use the word relax, but it's not forced. Okay, start and get this concept, compression in the body, then just release the mouth compression. All right, try it out, see how you go. And Bikram Yoga, don't forget.